the Lakers beat the Clippers. Let's go. It's about damn time. Woo. Now, just cut the music off. Cut the music off. I was writing notes that whole game. I watched the whole game from start to finish. I was writing my notes down so I could talk about it, give you guys my opinion since I'm a huge Lakers fan, you feel me? So let's just get right into it, man. All right, so first off, big shout out to Avery Bradley. He was draining threes from all over the court. How many threes did he have? I think he had six. Did he have six of them things? I wish Bleacher Report would work. Avery Bradley went six for 12 from three, 50%. A.B., shout out to you. You were one of the key factors in this game other than LeBron and A.D. So, shout out to A.B. Bradley, bro. Kuzma, you finally did something else other than jacking up threes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Like, I understand the past few years we sucked and you was able to shoot whatever shot you want. But not this year. We're a championship contender now. We can't afford those open bricks. So keep shooting those open shots. I'm, I'm, I like those. I love those. Feel me? Like the open shots. Like I saw you miss one in the corner. But it's okay. okay. I know you can hit that. Joe. He's working with lethal shooter. I know you can hit that. But them little, them little post fadeaways and all that. No. We don't need those. Leave that to AD and LeBron, please. Bro, Kuzma, he was getting deflections on defense. He was playing defense, first of all. Like this. Round of applause for Kuz. Round of applause for Kuz. He's playing defense. He got charges. Deflections, hustling on offensive rebounds too. So shout out to Kuz, but you were another key factor in this game. LeBron finally defended Kawhi and went at Kawhi offensively. That's what we've been waiting for. Like the past two games, Kawhi was showing up LeBron. This game, LeBron showed up to Kawhi. So shout out to LeBron. Shout out to the king. Hashtag washed king, you feel me? He's still here at age 35. He is still here. He had 28 points. AD had 30 points. So shout out to AD too. But AD started out flat. All them open mid-range jumpers he was shooting like the first and second quarter, they were just hitting the front of the ring. Brick, 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 brick. And then the second half, he really picked it up. So shout out to AD. That's the same thing that happened against the Bucks on Friday. So I was like, yo, AD, if you hit these shots, we have a great chance of winning. He started hitting the shots. He started getting to the free throw line. He started making layups. And from there, bro, all she wrote, you feel me? All right, so one thing I didn't like is... LeBron, thank you for finally deciding to guard Kawhi. Like, you actually, I wouldn't say you locked him up, but he definitely slowed him down because Kawhi usually snaps. But in the fourth quarter, why was Caldwell Pope on Kawhi? Like, I understand LeBron was guarding, was it Marcus Morris, Montrez? Was it Joe Michael Green? I don't know, but KCP was on Kawhi, and I did not like that at all. So please, don't do that in the playoffs. If it's the fourth quarter, you have to guard Kawhi in the fourth quarter, bro. You have to guard Kawhi in the fourth quarter. I don't know why this. I feel like I messed up, but if I didn't, then we're going to keep it rolling, bro. You have to guard Kawhi in the fourth quarter in the playoffs or it's going to lose. You're the only one that can actually guard him. Maybe a AD bites on the jab step too much. Like, Kawhi, I think he went like one for one or two for two on AD when AD was sticking him. But, yeah, man, LeBron, you have to guard Kawhi. <sighs> so, I'm confused. The LeBron AD pick and roll. They did it one time in the fourth quarter. That was that was the only time they did it all game. That was the only time they did it all game. And it worked. Why didn't they do that all game? Like, I understand in the fourth quarter, LeBron was trying to get Lou Will and Marcus Morris on. By the way, Marcus Morris, damn, you didn't make a field goal tonight. Shout out to Marquis for actually hitting a bucket. Marcus, I don't know, man. Everybody says you're a brother, brother. You're the better brother, but I don't see it. I don't see it right now. Like, I see it here and there. Like, you're definitely a dog. I'm not going to take that away from you. But the better brother? <sighs> this is another one. LeBron and AD finally stepped up in the fourth. I think the first game we played, they only scored two points combined in the fourth quarter. The second game, I forget. But I know we was up by at least a good 15 points. And we ended up losing in the fourth quarter. Cause I think LeBron or AD did stuff. I didn't. I forget about that game, bro. Cause we're not worried about the past. We worry about right now and the future. You feel me? Cause man, man, going against the Clippers, bro, is always gonna be a battle. But thank God they stepped up. LeBron had 12 points in the fourth quarter and a few dimes too. And LeBron, hold up. LeBron was making his free throws. He went 12 for 14 from the free throw line. We might not ever see that from LeBron again. I pray that we do. We'll probably never see that again. 
in the fourth. Well, I'm, I don't know what to say, bro. Like, I just, my mind is just crazy right now because we actually beat the Clippers. Like, everybody's giving me hell. We kept losing to the Clippers. We lost back to back against the Clippers and we finally beat them. My mind's all over the place. I keep stuttering. That's why I keep pausing. I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. But LeBron with 12 14, keep that up, LeBron. Let them know you can shoot free throws. Let them know you can hit them. You feel me? Um, LeBron was actually on the floor too. Like, I saw LeBron die for the ball. I'm like, oh, this is personal. LeBron was like, okay, I understand. Y'all say Kawhi better than me, but let's let's tone that down. I'm still here. I'm still here, you feel me? So shout out to LeBron, man. LeBron really stepped up like at 835, yeah, 28. Oh my god. Oh my god. He got that last and one in the fourth quarter on Marcus Morris. I was like this in front of my TV. Ah let's get it. Oh man. The next topic is Rondo. That first half, Rondo, atrocious. What were you doing? Rondo was just pulling threes. Like every time you pump fake from the three, the defender's looking at you like, shoot it, nigga. shoot it, shoot it, go ahead, shoot it. I'm like, bruh, if you don't run a pick and roll and do what you do best, what else did he do? I think it was the second quarter. Yeah, second quarter, he was really on his bullshit. But the second half, Rondo definitely stepped up. He started making some layups too. Like, I'm picking rolls, bro. Lonnie, uh, I'm about to say Lonzo because I'm thinking about that lob he threw to Zion. Oh my God. That's another thing crossing my mind right now. But Rondo, and plus, Rondo rhymes with Lonzo. So, you feel me? But um, Rondo, just keep doing what you're doing that you did in the second half. If Rondo can play like he did against the Celtics, if you remember the Celtics game when we were the home team, if Rondo can play like that in the playoffs, is that playoff Rondo? If that is playoffs Rondo, I will want him in the game over Caruso. But for right now, Ron will be bullshitting. That's why we always want Caruso in the game over him. Man, I don't know, bro. It's just, it's going to be crazy. It depends who we play in the playoffs. Like, one game is going to be Caruso's game. One game is going to be Ron's game. So, I don't know, bro. We're going to see. But I'm not even going to look into the future that far. You feel me? We still got to get the regular season. We still got to get the first seed. I just want the first seed. We get the first seed ASAP. Let LeBron and AD rest. We're going to be straight. Uh, Danny Green, I think he has zero points. I mean, I'm not mad at that because Avery Bradley snapped. I feel like one of those two, they have to snap for us to beat the Clippers or to beat any team, to be honest. Either Avery Bradley or Danny Green has to snap. Both of them can't have like only two points or else we're going to lose almost every game because LeBron and AD cannot do it all. The White and JaVale, they barely played, but I can't blame Vogel for keeping him on the bench. That was the best way. We had to play small ball, you feel me? Because... Doc left Zubak on the bench, and we had Markeev guarding Trez, which I'm fine with. I was fine with that, because Keith, he can actually hold his own on defense. So, I'm not mad at Dwight and JaVale didn't play that much, but hey, man, you got to do what you got to do to win. Paul George absolutely snapped in the first half. I think he had 19 in the first half, but then they stopped giving him the ball. They stopped feeding him, so he started going a little cold, and he finished with 31 still, but... At least we slowed him down. Thank you, Clippers. That was y'all fault. It wasn't uh, It wasn't our defense. That was y'all fault for not feeding Paul George. I'm not sure who was trying to score. Was it Trez? Trez and Kawhi was trying to score a lot more because they felt like they weren't. I don't know. I don't know, bro. I feel like Kawhi, he started off slow, but then he was really trying to get hot in the fourth quarter, but it was just too late at that point. And then Trez, he kept getting to the free throw line. He missed like five or six free throws. So shout out to Trez. That would have definitely kept him in the game if he made his free throw. So, hey, man, got to hit the free throw line tomorrow, man, because you got to hit those. Because once the playoff time comes, people are going to hack you, Trez. You might be one of the bigger forces on the court, but, like, our team, the White and Javel are not afraid to foul you. We're going to foul you if you're not going to make your free throws. You feel me? Pat Bev had two points. That's it. Played 26 minutes. Lou Will, seven points. There we go. If we can hold Lou Will... We're fine with letting Trez do whatever he wants. But if we can hold Lou Will, we can't let both of them snap. Because that's a little too much production. And then we also held Shaman in check too. Shaman has zero points. You love to see it. So my main concern is who is the Clippers going to play in the playoffs? Because they have so many bodies. It's like, I mean, you can throw multiple bodies at LeBron and stuff. But who's really going to be prepared for the playoffs? Like I saw last year. Y'all were good. Y'all were good. Y'all still went uh, Golden State. But then KD was like, all right, 50 ball. 40 ball, blah, blah, blah. And, um, yeah, but, hey, man, I just can't wait for the playoffs. That's my main concern right now. And we got to get Dion. Got to get Dion going. So if we can get Dion going, it's going to be a great year, bro. I'm just worried about the players right now. Rockets, they just lost to the Hornets, even though Westbrook wasn't playing. Harden had a triple-double, but also had 10 turnovers. So, yeah, Nuggets. I don't know, bro. I don't know. 
I don't know. Nuggets are they're iffy, bro. You never know when they're gonna snap. Um, can Jokic guard AD? I don't think so. I don't think he can. So I think we're gonna exploit that. Who's gonna guard LeBron? Tory Craig. Who else do they have? Jeremy Grant. Gary Harris. Michael Porter Jr. Maybe. He's taller, but he's still skinny. Like he really gotta hit the weight room. But um, yeah. <sighs> Lakers really clinched the playoff berth, and we beat the Clippers in the same weekend. And the Bucks too. The best two teams. The best two teams other than us. We beat them in the same weekend. Shout out to Shannon Sharp, man. Club Shades is about to be open all night. But, man, I'm done here. I just had to give y'all my thoughts on the game. If you want to comment down below, whatever, whether you're a Clippers fan, Lakers fan, or just a basketball fan in general, let me know how you feel about the game down below. I know everybody's watching it. I know a lot of y'all was waiting for the Lakers to lose so I could go in my comments. Y'all was waiting for the Lakers to lose. I know y'all were. I know y'all were. Keep that same energy, please. I know y'all still up in the season series. It's 2-1 right now. We play again in April. But keep that same energy. Show some respect to Goat James and AD. I understand at the end of the day, we're just fans. But y'all really be trying to disrespect me in my comments. And I'm done with that shit, bro. Show some respect. I show respect. Show it back. But I'm done. I ain't gonna snap, man. I already snapped a little bit too much. But, you know, shout out to the Lakers. Got that W, gets the Clippers, and we're just rolling off great, man. That was just a great, great weekend, Lakers. Great weekend.